It's got a great technique though. He hits this nice full extension, like this Superman like flying pose real quick. Yeah, that's a big side flip. I enjoyed that a lot. It was fun to do. Oh, that, that was, was way better so than it felt. so pretty. It felt like really crazy when I did it. I thought I was not gonna make it. What's up everyone? My name is Sarah Mudalal. I'm a parkour athlete for training about six years now. I'm also a second degree black belt in karate and have done a couple of parkour jobs along my career. Hey everyone, my name is Omar Zaki. I've been training parkour for over a decade now. You may have seen me on Ultimate Tag as the geek in World Chase Tag and then uh, just moving on up from there. So yesterday, Sarah and I went to Tempest Free Running Academy in the Valley to try to recreate some of these moves from Watch Dogs 2. And, and I know you're a gamer. I am. Do you know anything about this game? What do you know? I've heard about this game, but I actually have not played this game yet. But I know there has been positive talks about great like parkour moves into this game. So I think we should go check it out and see how much how, how we good recreated. We, yeah. yeah. All right, let's see how we did. That is so hard to do because he's got to get his hips all the way over yeah. his head and his arms. It'd be much easier to just do any other vault. It's a very like styly move. Like this one's like, yeah. boom, cartwheel. Exactly what Omar said. This is a pretty difficult move. Yeah. So here's Omar doing the cartwheel this vault. This is, do I knock it over? I don't remember. Oh. Yeah, that one I almost pulled it down with me. I think I changed my technique a little bit so I wouldn't knock the block over with me. And Ooh, that yeah. was a nice one. Yeah, made it work. Oh, yeah. It, it took a lot of energy. And I've got the spring floor to go off in yeah. the gym. Doing it on the concrete. And the dumpster was even bigger than what we're going on. It's, that's pretty insane. And I think my takeoff is a little different than how he's doing in the game. I'm doing a two-footed takeoff, like mm -hmm. a gather step, like a nice one-two, mm -hmm. and then jumping off of both feet, and he's just which like... is how you would do it. He jumps off of one leg, which is not correct and would be almost impossible, if not actually impossible, to do <laughs> off of one leg. All right, so we have a line, actually. Yeah, a full line. Literally. So recreating this, we didn't really have much space. Especially the for the camera yeah, to follow the, us the whole time. Yeah, so we kind of shortened it for the wall run and the step over. But essentially, like, this is, in a sense, kind of line. Yeah, it's a great line, and the movement is, is really clean. It's really good, and that's what it feels like to do parkour. Yeah. Like, it's a combination of fairly simple basic moves, but, but with a lot of them, um, effect, you get a lot of bang for your buck out of these simple what's moves. Really, yeah, what's really cool is that eventually, like when you have all the basics down, and then you put all the flow moves together, you just feel the flow. Yeah. It's the best feeling in the world. Yeah. We didn't really do much of it. We just did a wall run and I just did a safety over. We would have had to make a very, very huge setup to recreate the whole thing, especially just for the camera yeah, to follow. Yeah, the camera, I mean, if we gave him like maybe stairs behind him, but then it would, wouldn't really help me because I wouldn't yeah. be doing a wall run. But I mean, that's essentially kind of the thing that we Sort of, created. kind sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Not really, like guys in the comment section, like we're sorry. Like if we, <laughs> we know it's not the same, we know. You gotta use your imagination. Running, 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 for pow! See, this is the thing with like this move. It's a dive front flip, yes, but like there's no hops in that. He didn't jump up. He didn't mean? jump. No, he didn't jump at all. He just like leaned forward. Yeah, but I mean, I wouldn't want to jump up because you're already so high. You don't want to go higher by jumping. I think what it looks like is just like he just fell fall, forward. Fall yeah. off the edge. He's got great technique though. He hits this nice full extension, like this Superman like flying pose real quick. It's a big move, but mm -hmm. the front flip it itself is, is not is not complicated. I think I might have actually done higher than he did in the game, or maybe roughly the same. That was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. I like front flips. He likes front flips. I like front flips. I'm just gonna call him Neon Dude. Neon Shoes. Neon Shoes. Green he Shoes. He goes over the dumpster and does a dive roll over the obstacle and then stops abruptly. I will say I would never do that unless my life depended on it because he's going on a concrete and mm -hmm. that is a big 
dive roll onto concrete. So, that would hurt. Yeah, the thing is with dive rolls, you have to brace your hands and then slowly impact to roll. Sometimes you overshoot and if you and want to roll- And your hips just slam yeah, into the yeah. ground. Yeah. It's, it's definitely doable. Yeah. It would just hurt and it wouldn't be something you would want to do often. Usually mats are your best friend. Yeah, or grass or dirt or anything that isn't just parking lot concrete. Oh, literally. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we are going for the dumpster. What is the dumpster. Roll? Yeah, yeah that great. was it. That Easy was it. peasy. I should have stopped abruptly. Yeah, and then just flipped, flipped around. That's nothing. <laughs> I did the 360 for fun. Oh yeah. That's right. Sweet. Oh, that, that looks was way better so than it felt. Pretty. It felt like really crazy when I did it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was not gonna make it, but. It's like a All right. Ride. Boom. Pretty simple enough. I mean, you know, jumps onto the pay box, rolls out, and then just runs for his life. Yeah, so the only danger with this is if you roll and the platform isn't long enough, you might fall off mm -hmm. the platform before you've completed the roll and you'll kind of land on your butt on the ground. And that's actually what happened. When the we first were time, although I don't know yeah. if we were filming when that happened. No, because um, we wanted to set it up pretty nicely. But... Yeah, it's a simple move if it goes right. right. Yeah. <laughs> You good? Yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> he almost knocked it over. The blocks, again, they're they're light. They're not bolted to the ground, so we had to do a lot to make them you know, safe. <laughs> For parkour, it's kind of cool because you know how to fall, right? And like you know when something is like not right. Mm -hmm. So like I <laughs> immediately went to the fetal yeah. position. Yeah, and you saved, yeah, you saved yourself. Yeah. And see, now it's more stable. That was so clean. Yeah. That was so clean. How did it feel? It felt good. Okay. And I, I like, I kind of landed in a 360 kind of way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that looks, that's a perfect recreation. That was it, that's like, the move. Yeah. And, oh, I love how his heels are like right off the edge. So, recreating this, I'd actually never done a gainer where you kind of run and then jump into it immediately. Usually, the gainer is a standing trick. Or you run and you kick one leg yeah. and, and you do like a swing gainer. Mm -hmm. This was something new for me. It wasn't, it didn't end up being difficult, but it was just a weird application of yeah. the gainer. Yeah, nice easy steps. Boom. And then, yeah, gainer right away. Yeah, and what's cool is that, like, of course, Neon dude didn't really like Mr. Neon didn't really like have the brace impact, and he just, you know, Omar tried recreating the same thing. Just yeah, like, boom, and tried to just walks away casually. Yeah, take the drop in my legs, <laughs> and then the nice little video game walk and jog at the end there. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> All right, Mr. Neon Shoes, let's see what you got. Okay. 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 I can see the impossible part. It's impossible because the physics doesn't exist, apparently. No. First ascent was possible. Yeah, the wall, yeah, the little wall run there in the beginning, that's fine. And then it's this massive jump oh. over the railing right there. Yes. But yeah, so what he's doing is he's doing a little wall run and then he's doing what we call, at least what I call an easy vault, where you kind of swing one leg over at a time. You end up doing like this little helicopter spin. Oh, I, I don't remember um, the terminology for that. that. That's what I know it as. But he has done the most difficult version of this easy vault. Super jump right there, yeah. So I think we did a couple variations on this. I just jump up and then over. Ooh. Yeah. I think I ended up making the, the next level higher because he ends up jumping from a low level and then obviously landing up on mm -hmm. top of the deck. Boom. Boom. So I still did a turn vault there. I think I go one more time and I do the actual, I <laughs> like my little, my little <laughs> video game walk at the end there. Yeah, you were really, <laughs> you were really like feeling the character I, like yesterday. I, yes, yes, become the character. You must become the character. Yeah, yeah. so there, yeah, I lead with one leg and then followed with the second one. Which was honestly, it was really weird doing it on that setup. Yeah, so, you know, uh, I can't jump um, 10 feet straight up in the air with no movement, so I can't do the impossible move exactly. Isn't he supposed to be like a criminal in this game or something? Because if you're a criminal, why game. would you wear these super defining features, like these bright green basketball shoes? Because he can, and he can get away with it. <laughs> Glow in the dark. Mm -hmm. Hey, he's getting away! Oh, wait, there he is! So here it is, reverse, boom. Flawless. Yeah. No green shoes, though, that's where you I went know, wrong. I know, it's the pink. I know, I'm not even like 
matching. I'm just, wearing, <laughs> I'm just wearing shoes that like has the most grip. So the thing is like, of course, reversing, like, you have to spot your lining. So when I, when reversing, like one hand goes up just to see where your, where my lining is. And then you leave the other arm yeah, down. Yeah, I leave the other arm on the platform. To stay connected to the block, yeah. Here, reverse, put my one arm up so I can see yeah. my landing, and then I just run off into Flawless. the abyss. Flawless technique. Thank you. <laughs> he starts, he's running, he does a gather step, hurdle jump over the barrier. That's, That's definitely a doable move. Yeah, very applicable. We do that stuff all the time. Common. Because sometimes it's stylish to go to the obstacle that you're jumping to. Sometimes it's stylish to just go over it. Yeah. That's, That's some the move. Nice parkour right there. All right. And then we try to recreate it with the blocks. So a gather step, which I do on top of the block, is gonna be where I land with one foot first and then my second foot comes in, and as soon as my second foot touches, I jump immediately so I don't hesitate or slow down, because if you do that, it's then you It's kind you're... of a controlled, like, you know, you know you're how much power you're about to put in. Yeah, thing. it's better than jumping up both feet at the same time, because it's easier to go one foot than the other, mm -hmm. but it, you still get the power, because you're still jumping off of both your legs. Oh, yeah, he stepped on the plant and then he side flipped over the fence. I thought it was actually a ramp. We don't like stepping on flowers because we don't like destroying things around us. No. So, bad so, Mr. Neon. So what he did, Neon, step up and then side flip off. There's two people do two kinds of side flips. One that goes like under the leg to hold it and one like to hold above, over the knee. I like holding over the knee, helps me like tuck in more. So here's a platform. Like a little launch pad. Yeah, launch pad that we recreated. We put like the fence thing so I can just go over it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't usually side flip over stuff. I mean, this looked so awesome, so. I enjoyed that. Again, it's cool that you now have done this specifically because of the video game. I, it's funny, this video, like doing extra stride, like kind of pushed my limits a little bit. Yeah, cool. yeah, that's a big side flip. I like that. I enjoyed that a lot. Yeah, so it was it was fun to do. So this is the same area, but he did a different variation. And he kicks off the wall and does what we call a tic tac pre. But this um, is a high tic tac. Yeah, this is also a pretty ridiculous setup <laughs> because he was pretty much running straight and then just kicked off to your right. People might be able to do that tic-tac pre, but not running at it straight on. You'd have to really come at it from the side mm -hmm. with much, much more run up than this guy had for that. The first one, so, wall small run. Small wall run, tic-tac tic pre. Yeah, that was more like a yeah, like a corner tack. Tic-tac would have been obviously on a, on a straight wall, but we did not have that luxury. No. Wall run, tack <gasps> pre, yeah. down. Yeah, yeah it's, the, it's the same moves. Slightly different application of the moves. I think it was pretty good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so that was us trying to recreate the moves for Watch Dogs 2. How do you think we did? I think we did really well. The only difficulty is, again, just trying to recreate the environment as best as we can. Just because if it's a single move, it's easy to recreate a single move in a gym. But if they're doing these big, long runs, that gets a little bit more Which complicated. Which were the last two ones? That was a tough one to recreate. But there was a nice mixture of the flips mm -hmm. and the parkour moves as well, like doing the big front flip on my end and then the side, the side flip, flip yeah, on your I end. Yeah, I enjoyed that to do that one. It was a um, fun one. It kind of like pushed my limit a little bit too. If you guys want to leave a comment below and let us know what games you want us to react to or to even try, we definitely will listen to you. And yes, try it out. please. We would love to do more of this, so let us know. And if you want to see more videos, on for experts try check out gameology on youtube and facebook we want to thank the youtuber freedom or freedom for providing the gameplay footage that allowed us to react and recreate to so thank you uh watch two moves three and four am i good you can just put it in here oh cool i'll turn right. it later <laughs> Ew, stop that's nasty